Devin Kelly was a violent, unstable, mentally ill person. He savagely beat his wife and stepson. He killed the animals, tortured them. He decided to shoot up a church in Southern Springs, Texas. It was a horrifying decision, but probably not that surprising. Some people are unsatisfied with that explanation, though. Just because he was deranged doesn't mean that's why he did it. Well, Drexel professor George Ciarello Marr says that a key cause of the attack is Kelly's race. In a radio interview, the professor said that, quote, whiteness has a, quote, institutional apparatus that encourages white men to feel as though they're on the losing side of history. That makes them feel like victims and causes them to, quote, lash out by committing mass murder. Huh. It's a strange claim, but the really strange thing is how this same professor explains blame. Keep in mind, we've had him on the show, and he's the one who just last year tweeted out he was hoping for white genocide for Christmas, espousing violence himself. Huh. We'll hope we'll come back to explain. Not everybody thinks race is what causes shooting. Some think it's gender that does it. A professor at Cutstown University in the state of Pennsylvania says the biggest thing to blame for the spate of mass shootings we've seen recently is something called toxic masculinity. Colleen Clemens teaches women's and gender studies, needless to say, and shortly after the Sutherland Springs shootings tweeted this, quote, toxic masculinity is killing everyone. Repeat, toxic masculinity is killing everyone. Repeat, toxic masculinity is killing everyone. Repeat, we could go on. But there are only a certain number of characters allowed in a tweet. Kathy Aru is the founding publisher of Catalina Magazine. She joins us tonight. So, Kathy, we, we asked the professor to come on. She sent right. us a very long and actually very nice email saying that she feared for her safety and couldn't come on. Oh. You were brave enough to do so. Uh, tell us, if you would, if you know the answer, what is toxic masculinity? How do you catch it? What's the cure? Well, according to the professor's article, toxic masculinity is the man's fear that he's losing his power. And because minorities and women are taking uh, higher positions and they have more power, that white men and men in general are afraid that they're going to lose their strength and their virility, and therefore they are causing the mass shootings and lashing out. Well, so it's kind of both ways. So what you have is a situation where the entire kind of fashionable culture in America attacks one group relentlessly. And then if they don't like it, that's a problem, too. And then if there's a shooting committed by someone who looks that way, that's the result of them. I mean, this is kind of a, a nonsense theory, isn't it? Maybe the guy committed a mass shooting because he was crazy or he had some kind of other animus. Does it right. have to be because of his gender? Yes. I mean, if you look at it, yes, men are more violent than women. Of the mass shootings we've had in the last 25 years, 88 have been by men, two have been by women. So we definitely have a problem with men in this country. Men well, are confused. committing the murders. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's, that, well, that is true, of course. Men commit the overwhelming majority of violent crimes. And but crimes. I thought men and women were exactly the same. I mean, I'm kind of losing track of my feminist orthodoxies here, and I think some of them may be on a collision course about to hit each other. So men and women are exactly the same. You can transition from one to the other by snapping your fingers, uh, and everyone has to believe that that's real. But they're totally different, which is true. Women are better, unfortunately. We are oh. not the murderers of our society. We are not committing the crimes. We commit less than 20% of the crimes. So That's actually, true. men are not as good as women. We are actually better. We're safer. But what about, so what about all, men yeah. who transition to it? So if a man says, if he's got the terrible case of toxic masculinity, yes, he's on his deathbed dying from toxic masculinity, right? and he says, bam, I'm a woman now, does it cure him? Well, I would hope so. He would be at the better gender, so I would okay, hope but, so. Okay. Does any of this strike you as not, sir? Are you, are you actually kind of tracking with this and nodding in agreement? No, I completely agree. If you look at it, it doesn't matter what race they are, doesn't matter where they're from, doesn't matter what country. Men mm -hmm. are committing most of the crimes and most of the murders. There is a huh. problem with men. And, and no one can quite figure it out. Is it the testosterone? Is it that they feel less empowered? Is, are the minorities, are the women taking over too much and they are afraid of this? Is, is, there, the is there an upside to masculinity? Like, so let's say a, a hostile power tries to invade the country and, you know, burn your house and kill the livestock and carry your women off over their shoulder or whatever. Is it, is it, that's the point when you'd want to have some toxic masculinity around, right? Well, actually, it's funny. I actually have two cadets from West Point in my studio right now watching. And I asked them in the commercial break, I hope you guys have a lot of toxic masculinity because the whole point is to go kill people to, in order to protect us. That's a good use of toxic masculinity. Well, right. No? Her article said that not all men suffer from this. So that she did say that in her article, and um, Ms. Clemens, the professor, said in her article, but the men that do have it are dangerous, and these are the ones committing the crimes. So, yeah, it's huh. wonderful that we have these guys that are protecting our country, these wonderful men and women who are protecting our country, but those who have this toxic masculinity 
are committing crimes. These mass is murders there a, are Is there a measure? Is there some kind of like swab or blood test that can tell me if my masculinity is getting to dangerous levels? No, I unfortunately, I think it's too late. I think it's, it's when too the late. mass murders it's occur. Too late. Yes. So if there's toxic masculinity, that suggests the polar, right? The Toxic femininity. What would that look like? Well, and how sugar and spice is that? and everything nice. I mean, that's what it's like to be a girl. But boys will be boys, and that's what we're raising. We're raising boys to think that they should be more powerful and stronger. That's what the professor was saying. Maybe we're just not raising them right. Why right. are women no, but you're supposed not to be nonviolent? Okay, but is there such a thing as toxic femininity? No. Can you be too? Fe oh, you, you, no. you, you can be way too masculine. We do no wrong. But you can't women be do too no feminine. wrong. The numbers right. prove it. The statistics prove it. Women that do not do wrong. That doesn't sound like feminine. Feminism to me exactly. What? That it's sounds like fact. kind of the 19th century understanding of of women. No, it's just a Again, fact. Again, you're women confusing me here. Women are okay. responsible. We're not killing. We're not committing crimes. We're just the smarter gender. Huh. Let me ask you one last question. Yeah. If if men are this huge problem and they're like overbearing and they're just too masculine. Some. Yeah. Then why does every measure show that young women are outstripping young men in achievement? They graduate from college in much higher numbers. They get right. high school too. They have actually they make a little more for their first jobs. Right. They kill themselves less. They die from less often from drug ODs. Why is that? If men are keeping women down, why are women doing so much better than men in this country? Well, women are doing so well, and that's what's causing the toxic masculinity. They're not happy about it, and that's why the murders have gone up since 2000. 11. We've had so I wonder, has shootings. it occurred to you maybe to help instead of browbeating men and like mocking them for being less We're powerful not mocking. and saying, well, sure, of course you are. And you've got tenured are... losers like this woman we are quoting from Clutztown University or whatever it's called saying, ah, you know, men are horrible. Shouldn't women be helping men to be better? I think women are, but the way they're being raised, maybe it's a way, maybe it's just too late by the time we get them. We need to okay. raise them right. Boys can't well, you've be boys. confused me completely, but I'm still happy to talk to you as always. Kathy, thank you. Thanks.